Okay, so first of all, we need to remember the formula for circumference, which is pi times diameter. Now here we're given a, a radius, so therefore to work out the diameter, we just times the radius by 2. So 2 times 14, which is 28. So the circumference is going to be pi times 28. Now in terms of pi, that means we don't need a calculator for this. If you imagine that this was x times 28, you would instinctively write 28x. Pi works in the same way. Now, pi is an actual number, so x can be any number, or it can be a specific number. Pi is 3.141, blah, 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 blah. But the, the notation, the way we show it, is exactly the same as with algebra. So I'd write that as 28 pi. Now, that means if we had a calculator, I would type in 28 times pi, and it will give me the answer. In fact, on, my, on all the modern calculators, if you just type in 28 pi, it will give you what the answer is. So my answer in terms of pi is just 28 pi.